Hi everyone, I'm Matt Gash with SoundersFC.com here at the ESPN Wild World of Sports Complex in Orlando, Florida. The Sounders fall 2-0 today to FC Dallas in a training game. You know, for them it was a good header by uh, Breck Shea. We should have done better in our marking, but, uh, but the first goal was a deflection a little bit for them on the cross, a little fortunate. Kevin Hartman, Hartman makes a couple of big saves. They save one off the line in the second half. Mon Montano has a shot saved as well from distance. So, I mean, overall I thought our soccer definitely has taken a step forward from Arizona. While Ziggy Schmidt says there is definitely room for improvement, he did see some positives from the match on Monday. I thought our soccer was better. I thought we did a better job of holding the ball. We did a better job of knocking the ball around. Uh, I think our quality on our final passes has to be better. You know, that's something that needs to come. Yeah, we had some good chances. Um, you know, that final touch we got to put away. That's the difference between, uh, you know, like a close chance and, uh, and a goal. So we're, we're working on it. It's preseason. It's coming. We got the ball wide and got to get some good, you know, crosses, some good chances. But uh, just, you know, we just need to be sharper on that final uh, third, on that final pass or shot. But uh, we'll get there. Well, I thought we competed. There's still times we've got to be stronger on the ball. But uh, I also think certain guys stepped up. You know, I thought in the first half, Servando Carrasco played very well. Uh, was probably our best player, I thought, in, in that period of time. The match against FC Dallas marked the preseason debuts for Blaze Kufo, Taylor Graham, and Pat Noonan. Blaze, uh, you know, played with that one group because we wanted that we wanted to get him into a rhythm where we could play him again against Chicago, and so we didn't want to, you know, give want to give him maximum days off in between or maximum days between games. So, uh, but it was good to have him out there. You know, Pat probably tried a little bit too much the first game. You got to, you know, let it settle again for yourself. It's good to have Taylor out there again. You know, I mean, we got a chance to see Richard Martinez today. Uh, it was good to be out there. A little rusty. Uh, some things to work on, but uh, overall, it's just good, you know, having played, you know, in a competitive atmosphere like that for the first time in five, six months. It was good. Yeah, it's good to play. Um, it's, it's, it's tough watching games when guys are making strides and now feel like uh, playing catch up a little bit. But uh, sun, good, good field, good teammates. It's it's good to be back. The games are starting to get, you know, more up tempo. Guys are getting more minutes uh, as it gets closer to the season. So. Um, there's definitely some positives, obviously a, a lot of things to work on, you know. We want to win games, you know, losing 2-0, uh, it's never fun losing, so. Sounders will stay in Orlando tonight and play against the Houston Dynamo tomorrow. Again, right here at ESPN Wide World of Sports Complex. You can catch that game live at 8 a.m. Pacific time right here on SoundersFC.com.